Hey everybody, it's Master Gallon Geist here, bringing you my review for the movie Baby Driver, and it's not one of my favorite Edgar Wright movies. I actually like Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and even uh, World's End better than this movie, and that's mainly because this movie goes too long, and I didn't really give a crap about the characters. I thought it was going to be more about driving as well, and while driving was a factor in it, it wasn't done to the degree that I thought it was going to be. I thought it was mainly going to be a movie about cool driving and interesting chases and all that stuff. And while there were driving and chases, they weren't really exciting or that really invest that give it me that much investment into me like, oh, what's going to happen with this one? It's like, oh, okay, kind of doing the same old stuff. So, this movie opens, and we're seeing this heist going on, and of course we see the actor playing Baby, who, I really liked him, he did a good job as Baby, it's just, there was no real connection, I didn't feel like there's any real substance to the character, it was just all these different things together for him, but he's sitting in the car, listening to the music while the rest of the group goes in, and pretty much starts the heist, and... They get what they came for, and he starts doing these kind of cool maneuvers to get away from the cops and all that, going under an underpass and, like, blending in with two other red cars and being able to get away. And we kind of learn a little bit more that this is just one group. They kind of, like, say their goodbyes after one of the group is pretty much trying to intimidate Baby because he's like, why is he listening to music and all that stuff? Oh, because... When he was a kid, he was in a car accident that he has this ringing in his ears and he uses the music to drown it out and everything. And I think that the music was a pretty cool choice to kind of like go through the movie and kind of like set up scenes and also set up kind of like where Baby's mind's at. And he's like, all right, I guess I can take that. And they just kind of go off on their ways and we see the Kevin Spacey character, Doc, is the one that Baby's really kind of working for that he's paying, that baby's paying off debt to Doc, as we learn later through the movie, he boosted car, a car from him that had, like, merchandise and all that, and he, like, dumped it, so this is his way of paying off the debt and all that, he's like, well, next job's the last one, and then your debt's paid and all that, and, of course, he goes off doing his stuff with his music and all that, we learned that he, like, records the conversations that he has and mixes in their music, and that would be cool if it really meant or went anywhere. It's meant to allude, I guess, that he wants to create music, but that's about as far as it goes. And also to create the thorn of that, oh, he's recording our conversations. Is he going to rat us out? That comes up later on. It's like, okay, but nothing really comes of it. Because when he is confronted with it later, it is shown that he's just making music with the words people say when he just, like, does his mixtape, which you see with his foster father and all that stuff, because both of his parents were killed in the car accident that gave the ringing in his ears, and he doesn't like what he's doing and wants him to get an actual real job. And of course, during the downtime between this job and the next job, he meets Deborah at this restaurant that his mom supposedly worked at, and they get together. I mean, there's chemistry between the actors, but I don't really see why they would really be interested in each other. And it was like, okay, I guess they're supposed to be together, and then we get this, like, long kind of scene, them talking at a laundromat, which really kind of bored me. There's a lot of kind of that going on in the movie, not to a gigantic extent, but that this movie seems over long to me, and it especially goes a little off the rails towards the end of it. It's just like, is this really happening? Why is this happening? So, of course, he gets to the next job with Doc, this time a new crew, led by Jamie Foxx's character, Bats, and he's, of course, the crazy character, and says the crazy archetypal things, when like, oh, I've killed people like this, don't mess with me, this is what we're doing, and all that kind of stuff. It's just like, okay, so you're being the crazy dude, that's fine. And I really didn't have a problem with Jamie Foxx doing the crazy person. It's just there was no real depth other than, oh, he's crazy and he steals stuff. I kind of would have liked some more depth. It's, 
it's just all kind of surface level stuff. It's really more substance, not substance, it's style over substance. It's, oh, this looks cool, but if you look, there's like barely anything there. It's like, okay. So, they go off, things start going crazy, a security guard is killed, and this affects Baby and kind of like makes him lose his concentration a little bit during certain parts. They get chased by someone who's trying to stop them, and Jamie Foxx almost tried to just trying to kill him at one point, but Baby kind of stops him, and they're able to get back, but one of the people in the crew lost a shotgun, and of course, he's taken out. So, Baby's debt is squared up. He doesn't see the rest of them at that point, and he just goes off, uh, becomes a pizza delivery person, and gets up enough money to go on a date with Deborah. And while at that restaurant, he meets Doc, and he's like, hey, now we can just be a team, be friends, and all that kind of stuff, and now you can profit and take your girlfriend out when, whenever, and pretty much puts him in a situation where he has to say yes to it. So, he goes in, and we find out it's trying to steal stuff from a post office, uh, money orders and all that. And it's with two people from the first crew, and, of course, Jamie Foxx's Bats character. So... They're pretty much setting everything up, and they go to get the hardware for the mission. And, of course, Bats is made by one of the people there, and he's made that they're the cops. So a giant shootout ensues where pretty much almost everybody's killed except for a few people. And uh, it's botched. Doc's pissed off because it was his people, and he knew they were cops. And it's like, you killed the fence pretty much. And... Of course, they had talked at the diner, and Bats had pretty much figured out Deborah at that point because they went to the same diner, but Baby kind of blew her off and try and slipped her note saying, be ready to leave at 2 because they want to go on a cross-country road trip and just leave. So Baby says that they're ready to go and do their stuff, and he tries to sneak out to get to Deborah and have them leave. But, of course, he is made by the buddy character and Bats. They go and they get the tapes and they find out, yeah, it's just him making music. So they pretty much force him to do this heist. And he kind of warns the one teller that he had seen scoping out the place to, like, not go in. And, of course, the security guard tries to come to the car that he's at. And, of course, the rest of his team comes out. Bats is yelling at him, so... Buddy stalled, uh, baby is stalled for a little bit and then drives the car right into like this whole thing that kills bats, which leads to this extra long on foot chase scene, which in all actuality, baby should have been caught, but that leads to the deaths, uh, the death of Buddy's girlfriend, because they were like husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend kind of team up, and of course this up makes the whole vendetta thing, which Buddy then goes after Baby throughout the rest of it. And there's a lot of instances where Baby should have been caught because he was pretty much in a corner and was just like, okay, so he's going this way, that way. It's like, okay. So he is able to, he's been carrying the money orders around, so he still has the gains from the heist. And he pretty much gets Deborah and they go to Doc and they're like, listen, I want my tapes and then I'm out of here. He was like, he gives them this, gets the tapes, and they just go. And, of course, Doc's at first pissed off, but then, like, okay, kind of out of character. Well, I would say it's out of character if his character was any more developed than I am the head of the heist stuff. So, they just go, and he's like, all right, take the money. I was in love once. Okay, so they go into the parking garage, and he gets shot up by the people that had survived from the botched hardware sale, and he's able to kill them. And he's like, oh, crap, it's the cops. And Baby's like, that's not the cops. And it was Buddy in a cop car. And we start this whole kind of spiel through the parking garage and all that, which Baby is able to take out Buddy. And, of course, Baby and Deborah are in one car, and he kind of like... Well, before they get into <laughs> their shot-up truck... Baby passes out because of the overexertion of the fight with Buddy, and he then wakes up, and they've somehow gotten out of Atlanta. Now, that just kind of doesn't make any sense, because 
of all the cops that were chasing them beforehand, the whole city would be on red alert. And two, there's no way they'd be able to slip past the cops in Atlanta because the cars shot up and beat to shit. But somehow they get to a bridge that's blocked off by the police and the FBI. Baby turns himself in, but because of character witnesses with his foster father, people that he'd interacted with because he did steal a woman's car, but made sure that she got her purse and said sorry, and the woman at the post office with him warning her and all that, he's like, okay, you're given 25 years in prison, but you'll have a parole hearing in five. So Deborah waits for him, and he comes out, and it's like, okay, yeah, happy ending. And it's just like, I don't mind that that's where it ended. It's just, throughout the whole thing, there was stuff that it could have been really great. It's just there wasn't really good character development, and nothing that really pulled me into the characters. Like, I kind of wanted to see what... There there was teasing of kind of cool stuff of background stories, like uh, Bats' character saying that, like... <laughs> Uh, he was talking about, like, stories about, like, pe people he's killed and all that, and, like, what he's done, knowing the person from being the cop at the hardware sale that he had busted him and all that. There could have been so much more done with the character, but they just kind of left it at the surface level. Same with Buddy and his wife. It was like, okay, former stockbroker, you're, it's all alluded and kind of, like, told more than showed, and... Baby and Deborah, they're just all kind of just like there to a degree. Now, granted, this is better than the newest Transformers movie, The Last Night, because this actually has a plot. Now, granted, it kind of gets away with it at the end because it just goes for a long time in the third act with the whole thing with Buddy and Baby and Deborah and the whole kind of like police chase in Atlanta. It was just. This could have been tightened up or other things could have been done because it went in such a way that through the trailers and everything, I thought this was going to be more about kind of racing and being that kind of like really good driver. And it just kind of turned into something that that was just a single part of it. And the rest of it was just like, okay, all right. So... Overall, it's an alright movie. I wouldn't recommend going to see it while it's in theaters. I would wait until it's like on the movie channel or you can get it pretty cheap because it's got some nice action. It's got some nice chase scenes. It's If you want that kind of stuff, it does it pretty well, but it's not the best one that I've seen. So, those are my opinions on the movie. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.